My research is based on inorganic material chemistry. Inorganic material chemistry contains three processes, I think. The first step is preparation, that is synthesis of materials. The second step is evaluation of materials. And the third step is the data analysis to find out the relationship among composition, structure, and physical properties of materials. The number of my laboratory members is 25 at present. The academic staff are Associate Professor Dr. Keiichiro Murai and me. My research team are summarized at preparation and characterization of wide band gap oxynitride and oxide materials. That is, um, anode materials for lithium ion secondary batteries, light converting phosphor for white LEDs, and visible light driven autocatalyst for hydrogen production. Transparent conducting oxide for flat panel displays and electrolyte for solid oxide fuel cells are also researched. Especially, we are focusing on oxynitride. Oxynitride contains oxygen and nitrogen at an ion, so that we can control the ratio to synthesized material with desired band gap energy. Thus, we can change the absorption and emission wavelengths, transparency, and electronic properties such as conductivity of material as well. You are on Monozukuri, manufacturing technology in research that I've been studying for many years. You can experience the manufacturing culture or culture making good things that are second to none, uh, which is what Japan has cultivated. Some overseas researchers are good at creating ideas from nothing. On the other hand, uh, Japanese researchers are good at improving 1 to 10 or 100 by applying existing current technology. I hope researchers from overseas have the potential to be wonderful partners with us who can leverage each other's strengths. I look forward to your challenge at Tokushima University. Dr. Murai and my students are also happy to work with you.